Jessie here. I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be something completely different. I've never done a video like this before but um, I thought that it might be a fun type of video. My children and I just recently started going to the library every week to borrow books and movies and I thought it might be fun to share with you guys the books and things that we borrowed from the library show you kind of what we're reading this week I don't have any idea if anybody's going to be interested in this but uh, I thought it would be nice for those of you that have children you want to get ideas for things for them to read um, or if you yourself are a reader and you're looking for book ideas and it's just another way to share kind of a little bit more about us so um, we usually go to the libraries on Monday this week with the holiday. We didn't get around to it until today, which is Wednesday. Sorry, I'm looking a little disheveled. It is very, very hot and humid and wet and rainy outside, and we just got back in. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and just share with you the books and the DVDs that we borrowed this week. I, myself, did not get any books this week because I'm not going to have time um, to read anything between now and Monday when we go back to the library. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on books that you think that I should read, let, leave them in the comment section below because I'm always looking for new book ideas. I'll read just about anything once, so definitely um, leave them in the description box below. But my kids bought, or, but my kids borrowed a ton of stuff, so let's just get into it. First thing are the DVDs. Um, they borrowed the Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Road Chip. So that's kind of fun, I guess. They borrowed Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules, and they also borrowed Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dog Days. So I think that they will really get a kick out of watching those. Going right along with that, Austin's been really enjoying reading the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, and he has not read this one yet. So this is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dog Days. For those of you who do not know, Austin is eight years old. He just completed second grade, so he's going into third grade. And this is this kind of book that he really likes. Um, you know, there's a nice um, big font. There's some pictures in there. Um, and you guys are familiar, I'm sure, with the Diary of Wimpy Kid books because they were made into movies. So he's really excited about reading that. He also borrowed the Goosebumps Horrorland Monster Blood for Breakfast. I used to read the Goosebumps books when I was a kid, um, and I encouraged him to try them because they're, um, you know, not too complicated, too far advanced for him. He does read at, I think, fifth grade reading level. He's very um, advanced with his reading. So he has no problem with these. He really enjoys them. He should have no problem finishing both of these books um, between now and Monday. And if he has a hard time, um, we'll just renew one or the other, and you guys will see that um, next week if you guys want to continue to see these videos. Um, if this is not something that interests you, it'll still be a one and done, and I won't do anything like this again. But, um, you know, if you guys are interested in seeing every week what we borrow from the library, I'd be happy to do them because it's a lot of fun. So those are the two books that Austin... Um, borrowed and actually I sort of lied I did borrow a book but um, this is something that my children and I are going to read together um, I borrowed the Harry Potter and the Tales of Beetle the Bard um, I am a huge Harry Potter fan I always have been um, I have a Phoenix tattooed on my leg all of my pets are named after uh, Harry Potter characters so I'm a huge fan and I just thought that this would be a fun little read. Um, I'll read it on my own. I'll read it with the kids. Um, this will take me no time at all. But this is the kind of book that I love. I have a very grade school mentality, I guess, when it comes to books. I like young adult novels. Um, I mean, I like more adult things as well, but, uh, you know, that's just the kind of thing I'm into. I'm a big J.K. Rowling fan, so I got that. I haven't read this one yet, so I'm pretty excited about that, not gonna lie. Next we have the things that Robbie decided to borrow from the library. Robbie's not really into fiction right now. Um, he is not the biggest fan of reading. He struggles a little bit with reading. He has gotten extra reading help in school. Um, he's just now gotten himself to um, a seventh grade reading level, which is where he's supposed to be, but for a few years he really struggled with that. He's going into eighth grade now, so he's right on track with where he should be for next year, but he really struggled for a while to um, to get there, and he got a lot of extra reading help and things. So reading has never been something that he really just enjoys. Um, if there is a book that he kind of 
really likes the idea of, he will sit and read it, but he's just not the type to sit there and read a fiction book. He is, however, really into flipping through books um, on topics that he likes, things, encyclopedias, um, things like that. So he's really into fishing right now, so he got a bunch of books on fishing. He bought, I keep saying bought, we didn't buy these, we borrowed them. He borrowed Hook, Line, and Sinker, The Complete Angler's Guide to Terminal Tackle. Um, everything you need to know about hooks, sinkers, swivels, lines, leaders, rules, and knots to catch more fish in fresh water or salt water. So he's obviously not going to read this entire book in just a few days, but he will flip through it, he'll look at the pictures, he'll read um, a few of the different entries on things that he's interested in, um, and that will keep him entertained on quiet evenings when um, you know we have we make them turn everything off in, in the evening and just kind of have some downtime so that is usually when they will sit and read uh, they also like to have this sort of thing in the car when we're going on trips even just down the street they like to take um, that opportunity to read so in addition to that one he also got the complete outdoors encyclopedia again this is right up his alley um, it's got a little bit of everything in here. Predators, um, he could read about all the different animals, and fishing is in here as well. So everything to do with the outdoors, and this is just, again, right up his alley. This is the kind of thing that he's really into right now. Um, again, obviously, he won't read this whole book, but it'll give him something to flip through. He borrowed the new Encyclopedia of Fishing, the complete guide to the fish, tackle, and techniques of fresh and saltwater angling. So that's another one. It's got some great um, illustrations in here. This is really going to be something that he enjoys just kind of flipping through. He was obviously not going to read everything, but he really enjoys learning about the different fish that he can catch and things. So there's that. And the last book that he borrowed and the last book I'm going to share with you today is John Bailey's Ultimate Freshwater Fishing. So again, much the same. So yeah, that is what we are reading this week. Um, let me know what you guys think about this video. Like I said, it's probably not going to be everybody's cup of tea. may not be anybody's cup of tea, but I just thought it was kind of fun. Um, so if you guys would like to hear what we thought about these books, um, leave me a comment down below. If you guys have any book suggestions for myself, my children, um, my husband is really into audiobooks and they have an extensive audiobook library there as well so um, that might be something I share in the future as well so if you guys enjoyed this like I said give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon bye